In this video, we'll look at whether iron 3 oxide, Fe2O3, is zionic or covalent. So one way we could do this, we could look at the periodic table. We find iron, that's a metal, and oxygen, that's a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, that is usually considered to be an ionic compound. So we could say Fe2O3 is ionic based on the periodic table and this definition of a metal and a nonmetal. We should also look at electronegativity, though, to see the difference in electronegativity between the iron and the oxygen. So in this periodic table, we have values for electronegativity. We find iron right here, that's 1.8, and oxygen is 3.5. So 3.5 minus 1.8, that gives us a difference of 1.7. So our electronegativity difference between Fe and O, 1.7. If we look at electronegativity, it's really a continuum from really nonpolar to very ionic. So we find that in this chart, 2.0 and above would be ionic. So based on this definition, this would be polar covalent, very close to ionic, but polar covalent. Some textbooks say that 1.7 and above is ionic. So in that case, if your textbook were to say that, it would be an ionic compound. So if you're looking just at metal, nonmetal, we would say ionic. If you're looking at the difference in electronegativity, you'll have to check and see which definition you've been asked to use. This is Dr. B discussing whether iron 3 oxide, Fe2O3, is ionic or covalent. Thanks for watching.